Great question. Well, number one, you got to realize who your enemy is, right? Your enemy is Satan. If you are a follower, a believer of God, and you have intimacy with God, and you have spiritual discernment and wisdom, and that's developed over time, some people, you know, most people naturally have some level of discernment and wisdom, but only by seeking the Lord will he reveal to you the secret things, just as Jeremiah 33, 3 says, he'll show you. When you meet somebody, know and understand that there are no neutral people, right? That either God sends that person to help to edify you, you know, iron sharpens iron, all that stuff, or Satan sends that person as an agent to deceive you, to manipulate you, to take you down so that you're na never able to fulfill the role and calling that God created you to do. Be so... When you meet a person, the Bible says that we are to guard our hearts and study that person's fruit. So when we are looking and you were talking about the characteristics of a, a counterfeit kingdom spouse, you have to look and you have to make sure, number one, that your emotions are in check, that you are not responding from a place of fantasy and trauma and fear um, which will allow a person to, you know, run over your boundaries. So one of the things you're going to look for is that person's relationship with God. Now, just because the person goes to church every day doesn't mean that that's a godly person. We already know that. I marry a narcissist and he's in church all the time, not even just on Sundays. He's on, he's there Wednesdays, Tuesdays, other days working and doing stuff in the church. And he's evil as I don't know what. So what you're going to look for is that person's relationship and you're going to see if it's genuine how are you going to know if it's genuine you're going to know by that person's actions so for example you meet this person and they ask you out on a date and that person is trying to be very sexual either verbally like super flirtatious or you're talking about your body not just like a regular you know compliment that somebody would give but they're hyper focused on how you look or you could see that there's a duality here. Like, you know, when they're in church, it's like, yes, amen, Lord, hallelujah. And then when they're outside of the church, it's almost like they're a different person. They're cursing all the time. They may have really bad habits that they're not, you know, trying to check or anything like that. They sitting up there smoking, drinking excessively. Um, they talk really bad about people. They don't have a heart posture that's posture towards God meaning that they don't have a, a heart of repentance. Um, this person may, you know, when they hurt, you know, may do or say something hurtful to you and you bring it up to them, they'll get an attitude typically, or, you know, they'll ghost you and feel like, you know, whenever there's some kind of accountability, that person will try to like pine it off or minimize your feelings and stuff like that. A counterfeit person is going to deceive you. They're going to future fake you. They're going to make you feel as if you're wrong for having boundaries. They will push it. So for example, this is a sign of a counterfeit kingdom spouse. So if you tell him or her that you have to get up for work, let's say seven o'clock in the morning, and you typically go to bed at nine o'clock, you know, to make sure you get adequate rest, the counterfeit will still call you after that time. They'll call you 10, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, and they'll, or they'll text you and say, oh, I miss you and stuff like that. Even though you told them that you have a boundary, you have a standard. You're like, listen, I have to get a certain amount of sleep. And they're like, come on, I miss you and this and that. And then you're like, like, and they're like, but I, just, I care about you so much and all this other stuff. And you're like, yeah, that's nice, but I have to get sleep. Another thing too, and a lot of people don't talk about is watch your dreams. When I was dating my um, ex-husband who was a narcissist, I was having a lot of predatory dreams of serpents and... Um, alligators like a lot of uh, rats like different predatory you know creatures and stuff like that and holy spirit god was trying to let me know that i was with a predator i was with the wrong person even watch your pets with these people because sometimes we know pets can pick up on the spiritual realm they could pick up on a person's energy and spirit and sometimes your dog may not like the person your cat may not like the person you could sit there and be like, mm, what's going on? I, I, had a, I had a woman that um, I was cool with some years ago um, when she was telling me that she, she met this guy who, who was a counterfeit 
all her fish in her fish tank died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they died. Uh, pictures started um, dropping off the wall. Her finances started to dry up. Why? Because God was showing her that you are with the wrong person. You also have to check when you feel like this is not right and you're trying to back away from this person and that person is trying to be very insistent on you being with them, even though you know it's not right. Because one thing that Satan could never counterfeit, he can never duplicate God's peace. That's one of the biggest ways you know somebody's a counterfeit because you're not going to feel peace with them. Yeah, maybe the first week or two, you know, first month, you're like, oh, this is fun because you're kind of distracted by the fun. But then, you know, let a month or two go by and you're going to start feeling a shift there. And it's going to happen pretty quickly, especially if you're asking God to reveal who that person's, you know, is, who sent them. You should always be asking the Lord who sent this person. So, I really hope that that helps um, because a lot of people don't know, you know, when they meet a, a counterfeit kingdom spouse, peace is the first thing that typically goes. That person also introduces lust in early on and they'll test your boundaries sexually. Oh, send me this kind of picture. And then, you know, if they're in the church, they're very sly. You got to watch people in the church because in the world, they there's no boundaries when somebody's in the world and when they don't believe in God. They're just wow. They just every lust and desires of their heart they're trying to fulfill people out here just making songs about i mean just the worst things possible with the i mean booties and i mean just y'all know what i'm talking about eating places that waste come out of that god never intended nothing no you know sexual areas and all that people just out here wilding they doing whatever they want to do but we're talking about a a, a believer a man or a woman who says that they walk with God. You have to look and see that. And another thing too that you should look for is that your prayer life will decrease as well when you're with a counterfeit because they'll try to get you so enamored, enamored in the fantasy and the fun and, you know, the love bombing that you're just like, you know, I'll read my, I'll read my Bible later. I'll read the word later. I'll pray later. I'll go to church later. Or, you know, like you don't, you know, your normal spiritual practice, your prayer life starts to decrease. When you're with a godly kingdom spouse, it's supposed to increase. Iron sharpens iron. So I hope that helps. God bless you.